good day. Welcome to Kimmer's Earthing. Now with the Atari 2600 out, and I have tons of these. You can see I have the Retron 77. This was a great console, still a great console, very inexpensive. One of the best joysticks out there, because look, it's got two buttons. Fantastic console. This is the one I play the most, but sometimes you want to go true retro. This is the way to go. And back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I'd find these everywhere. eBay, dirt cheap with games. People just wanted to get rid of them. Nobody wanted them. And now you have the Atari 2600 Plus coming out. Retron 77 came out maybe about three years ago. Fantastic console. I can't say enough about that. And I'm very anxious about the 2600 Plus. I know it's a little smaller. Plays cartridges. Of course, it's through emulation, but modern HDMI port, really cool. And I probably have a minimum of 10 to 12 of these guys. I got them in boxes somewhere. I just got to pull them all out. I put them all on a nice shelf so you can kind of see them all. Maybe to make it a display case or something. But games. Games are where it's at. You can see up here. Atari 2600 games. I've been trying to put them all in kind of order. You see, I got some CX40s still in the box. We have a flashback. I've got tons of these flashbacks. I always pick these up at Goodwill for like five bucks. But games, that's where it's at. So you can kind of see a little bit everything in here. I wasn't picky. You know, I just buy a lot of them. Uh, Pawn Store is a good place to find them. I've never seen them at a garage sales anymore. Sometimes, you know, people say, hey, my kids, uh, you know, 40 years old, 50 years old, moved out of the house. You want all these games? I say, yes, I do. Uh, Ghostbusters, Missile Command, Freeway, Tennis, Star Master, uh, Space Jockey, Breakthrough, 4, and of course, Bridge. Everybody's favorite is Bridge. Uh, Towering Inferno is great. But I did pick out a bunch of games that I think... You should get if you're going to get the new Atari 2600 plus you get these games like battle zone but get donkey kong fantastic port very fantastic port frogger another fantastic game and he might be mad at me but et and here's why it's so bad you have to play it it just makes no sense terrible game you always fall in the pit but that's what the, that's the charm of this guy. Space Invaders. Pretty much everybody who had Atari 2600, you had this game. This was the game. Uh, we have Asteroids, another game pretty much everybody everybody had. Let's see. Looks like I just lost something here. Oh, and of course you're gonna find out these do fall off. Uh, Moon Patrol, great game. Defender, another classic. And I always liked it. Night Driver. The simplest graphics ever, but still kind of fun. And you got to use the um, um, paddle with that guy, so that's pretty cool. But a lot of great games. Just a lot of great games. And they're all definitely all worth playing. Superman's a great game. Uh, ice Hockey, I really enjoyed. Like Casino games. Casino is very crude graphics. Uh, Super Breakout, Video Olympics. And a lot of these are two-player games, so... Get two joysticks or get the second joystick if you get if you do get the 2600 plus because you're going to want to play with a friend and that's the way these games a lot of these games are designed to be made so anyway that is our atari 2600 collection maybe i'll do another video later on to kind of show you all the consoles i got flashbacks i got atari 2600 all different versions of them but uh anyway i hope you guys enjoy the video that's you guys have a great day